Also with design, uh, there are constraints and restrictions that may force uh, you know um, you down a certain path as well. Uh, may also lead to some simplifications and generalizations. So it's a one to n uh, kind of mapping from requirements to design, meaning a set of requirements could have multiple designs. There's no one right solution. It's very much a heuristic process based on uh, rules of thumb and things learned from the past. Um, and some of this is emergent as well. Uh, in other words, good designs evolve uh, as you go through the process and even into the implementation phases. You'll learn some things that you have to go back and design better. Um, on the uh, Again, depending on the type of system, you'll, your design approach will be different. Do you need performance? Do you need security? Do you need reliability? Um, all these things will change what the design ultimately looks like. There are several design principles that we'll talk through. Abstraction, you want to abstract out complexity whenever you can for the developer. You want modularity. In particular, you want loose coupling and highly cohesive components in your design. Information hiding, you don't want to expose all your dirty laundry or all your data structures to everybody to modify. So you want to hide that information where you can. Limit the complexity for the, the developer and make things hierarchical where you can. Um, not all designs will follow all of these design principles, but they're, we're going to walk through some of these now to give you a better feel for what these things really mean.